Well, when the housing bubble deflated, so did audiences for real estate-related television shows. Viewers are now flocking to cooking shows in record numbers. Joining us now with more on this story is Patricia Wu. Patricia. Lori, cooking shows have come a long way. The traditional how-to programs have evolved into reality shows with contests, challenges, and titles such as Man vs. Food and the next Food Network star. And it looks like a recipe for success. The shows are attracting the biggest audiences ever to the Food Network and Travel Channel. The next Food Network star boosted the channel's ratings 20% in July from a year ago. Since 2004, the primetime audience for the Food Network has jumped 55% to just over a million viewers nightly. In the coveted 18 to 49 age group, ratings are up 79%, according to Nielsen. And the real winner for Man vs. Food is actually the big ratings boost for the Travel Channel. Nielsen shows that ratings are up 35% this month from a year ago and up 46% in the 18 to 49 age group, that perennial favorite of advertisers. And all this hunger for food shows could fill more than stomachs, could fill the coffers as well. Scripps Networks, which owns the Food Network, plans to press cable system operators for higher fees based on the success of its shows. And Cox Enterprises, which owns the Travel Channel, has hired Goldman Sachs to advise on a possible sale of the channel. News Corp, GE's NBC Universal, and Scripps Networks are among the bidders, according to people close to the situation. Lori? Patricia, anyone else jumping on this food bandwagon? Well, TLC, which is owned by Discovery Communications, is also adding food shows. The network dropped two real estate shows in the past year, but renewed Cake Boss and launches Ultimate Cake Off at the end of the month, Lori. Now I'm hungry. Yes, me too. Patricia, thanks.